Sorry about that, Dads. I had to talk to the help. So I'm the help now? It's not like you're brandishing heavy artillery, so yeah, you're the help. I'd even sell for a t Oh, good! Another group of angry dogs come to impede our progress and our path to victory. And like all obstacles in our way, these two are dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. Mostly by the walking tank, but they're dead, so they can't argue. If they were arguing, that would be weird. I don't know. We'll see if I'm haunted by the ghost of four dead dogs later tonight. Oh, this looks like the place. Unless there's some other arc jet systems I don't know about. Arc jet systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security. So we'll head in through the front. Oh, yeah, because that's always a good idea. Given what little I can tell about the Brotherhood of Steel and your paladin-like behavior, I'm half expecting you to charge in there with a bastard sword. Running in there, leading the charge while screaming for freedom, while I say, BE GONE, FOUL-SMELLING FERAL GHOULS, FOR THOU HATH INFESTED THIS PLACE! BE GONE, foul smell There's no one here and you're not even in front. put the last nail in the coffin for mankind. They exploited technology for their own gains. Pocketing the cash and ignoring the damage they've done. Really? I thought they just made airplane engines. They put those things on fighter jets. If I did that, I'd be ignoring the damage too. It'd be hard to keep track of all the damage fighter jets would be causing. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. I can see that. Personally, I would have gone with something a little bit more formidable than a bunch of Robbie the Robots, but I guess it works. Is this the Brotherhood of Steel's handiwork? Unfortunately, no. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Synth? Is that like slang for synthetic? Isn't that just the same as a robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. Well, I feel like you kind of dodged my question there, but, uh, what exactly is the Institute? They're a group of scientists who went underground when the Great War started. Spent the last few decades littering the Commonwealth with their technological nightmares. I'm sensing some really strong opinions coming from you. Honestly, sounds like you're scared of them. There's a measurable difference between being frightened and being prepared. Now, let's move out. I want to say that those are two different things, but whatever makes you happy, man. I'm taking this. It's in good condition. In fact, I'll take it all. Everything in this room that I can possibly get my hands on, except the cigar box. I'll take this fuse. I can't use the cigar box. I can use the fuse. I could even use the fuse to power this computer. But the computer's already on, so I don't need to. All right. Let's see. Protectron control... No Protectron units attached. We're done here. We're well, shit. They got all of them. I figured there'd be maybe, I don't know, one or two left. Okay, there's a urinal in the maintenance room. Is this what we consider normal? I endeavor to say that it is not. Probably installed by some demented maintenance man. Thinking he's so much better than everybody else. Just because he doesn't have to go to the bathroom. Bathrooms are a remarkable and great Looks species! Like See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. You gotta what the area? You know what? Never mind. Yes, sir. Sir? I'm a civilian mercenary who can't hack the computer. Damn it. Oh. Hello. Why the heck are they making us record this? Oh crap, it's on, isn't it? <clears throat> um, this is Technician Rand, Arc Jet Propulsion Division. I'm here with Technician Janowski, work log A1190. Janowski and I have been working on the Mars Shot Project for about three months now, and I think we have the thrust calculations worked out. Man, I wish I was headed up there with those guys. It'd be nice to get the hell away from our lousy planet. <laughs> hey, easy. If we don't record these logs properly, we're gonna get fired. Supervisor is already itching to get rid of us, especially since it's taking us longer than we promised. So what? We've been drafted anyway. We're shipping out in a few weeks, remember? <sighs> Soon we'll be doing push-ups, 
eating freeze-dried rations, and just wishing we were spending our day inside a cushy private laboratory. Of course I remember. But I'm trying not to imagine getting my head blown off when I'm on the front line, and keeping my mind on work is helping me deal with the problem. Maybe that doesn't make sense to you, but it's important to me, okay? All right. I'm sorry. Look, why don't you toss this tape, and we'll start a new one. Clearly they didn't toss it. Yeah, because we found it. Anyway, let's have a look here. Gotta be a way to get that door open. Yeah, see, here we go. Password security. Let's see, this is your annual reminder that the brouhaha will change your blah 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 every month. Good. Let's see. The password is... 9YB3N. 9YB3N, 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 9YB3N! Okay! I could have made a note. Yes, but I feel more accomplished when I do this. And of course, nothing works in this building. Except the door, apparently. Okay. Holy damn it, Christmas! What are those things? They're shooting lasers at me! I don't like them! It's evil robots! We've disturbed the evil robots! Burn them! Okay! Now we have to steal their stuff, burn their food, plunder their villages, and cut their phone lines. This act will not only cut off communications with the higher ups at home, but when the robots return from the front against me, they'll find themselves without food or family. They're just robots. Yeah, well that plan almost worked for the Chinese. Yes, but these are robots. Yes, but I don't respect the Chinese. And these robots are shooting lasers at me, so I don't respect them very much either. I mean, look at this thing. It's fucking huge! This is like, and it's a single shot pistol. Also, or at least I think it is. I it's got a fire select on the side, so God, oh great, we're shooting again. Oh boy, there's a lot of you. Aha, but the tables have turned. For now, I too have the laser beams, which gives me the undeniable right to go pew, 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 all over your face. Especially when your little friend here is Ugh! Ugh! Fuck you! I have to say, this is not how I expected the day was gonna go. In what way? Oh, in that we have riot police uh, that have been turned into robots, apparently. Because they're charging me with shock batons. It still feels all tingly. God, it's worse than your teleporting. And your labeling of these guns, apparently. Why you have this labeled as a pistol? The functionality and design is similar to a standard laser pistol. The thing's the size of a fucking brick! When I picked it up, I half expected it to be a shotgun. I'll admit the design is something to be desired. Yeah, well, at least it's lightweight enough that I can actually use it pretty effectively. Honestly, if they were my robots, I'd be welding them to the arm and ju just have it be a gun arm. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll do that someday. In the meantime, we're gonna see if the 308 rounds that this thing hucks at them is enough to pierce their robot skulls. Do they even have skulls? I don't know. It kinda looks like they do. Either way, I'm not about to dissect one to find out, even if it does mean taking out a couple of screws. I just don't have the pe Oh, shit! <laughs> This thing has a kick, and I think that's the turret line! Oh, it doesn't help that this damn thing doesn't have a stock, but I can make this work! Oh boy, what are we shooting? Or oh, you could do it. Ah! Alright, I got this one! And you end up killing it in the end anyway. Yeah, okay. I think when it comes down to it, the highly skilled team raiding Arcjet systems, the guy in power armor is doing the heavy lifting. Oh, sweet, more quantum. Man, this stuff's delicious, but I think it might be poison. What makes you say that? Uh, it glows. And that's the lobby. Okay, we've gone full circle. Right, dungeon complete. I guess we uh, looped back around. I'd say we didn't get any decent loot, except for the laser pistol the size of a brick. Hey, Dads, we can pro- Oh, it keeps going, never mind. Sweet. Ahead. All right, sweet. Let's do this. 
Okay, I'll go on ahead. I, I gotta do something. Come on, give me a chance. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. All right, yeah, got it. Whoa. <laughs> Hi. There's a big rocket engine in here. I guess someone had the brilliant idea to test fire these things indoors. Look at this place. Describes it a field day in here. So would I. In fact, I might. The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. Find a way to get the facility's power back online. All right, we'll go down into the... Uh, the stairs are over here, Dance. Okay, that works too. Honestly, I'd do the same thing. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Scout the maintenance area off of the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Whatever gets that light ears out of my face. <laughs> right, onward. <sighs> Wish I had a light. Be better than fumbling around in the dark. Let's see what this does. Oh, nothing, because the power's out. You do know I have a light. Wait, you do? Oh, holy shit, you do. It's very green. I like it. No more darkness for us. Eh, let's see what this is. Jeering, leering, laughing, mocking, taunting. What am I listening to? Oh, he graduated all right from high school. It's fine, I'm sure he took shop class. Oh look, he's reading the science mags. How cute. Uh har har har. Shop class. Let's see them make this in shop class. My marvel of engineering. The finest in weapon heist refuse acceleration. My beauty. My junk jet. They'll see the engineers with their suits and fancy degrees. Come Monday morning, they'll all so, did he say weaponized refuse acceleration? Does that mean what I think it means? Because that sounds dumb. And untested. Tacky. And exciting. Let's try it out. Is this safe? It was built by some high school intern. So, probably not. But I'm gonna put this wrench in here anyway, just to see what happens. I'll write your obituary. Well, we'll see what happens. Ho oh, ho! Okay, no, the kid actually knew what he was doing. That or he looked up the designs on the internet or some shit. I don't know. Point is, let's just cram as much of this crap in here as we can and actually use it. How do we know this thing won't explode at a moment's notice? Well, we don't. But at the end of the day, who cares? It's cool. All right, let's look around. Engine start. Right. Don't push that button with Dan's in the room. Got it. Best not bring about the fiery death of my new power armor clad friend. Alright, let me at this lock. Come on. There we go. Tools! Let's see. I'll take this and these. Yes. Yeah, so I hear whirring. Fusion Corp! Ugh. That one was in there pretty good. It's a bit rusted. Hi, Dogmeat. Let me add that computer. Thank you. Hey, give me this. The least I could do with it is throw it at my enemies. Alright, skip the rest. I bet it's fuel. It is. I'm in. Matthew wins! Your passwords are predictable! How? I'm psychic. Let's see. Engine core is operating on emergency power. Yeah, turn it on anyway. Hey, there we go. Let there be light. Engine core power restored. Not down here, apparently, though. The oh, shit. What's going on? Standing by oh, boy, that's a lot of robots. I mean, I guess it... Well... I guess it would... Okay, Dad, get out of the room! Command accepted. Dad, get out of the room! I'm firing it! It's gonna be really cool, but not if you're in there! I'm ordering you as your inferior to get out of there! Stop shooting at robots and get out! 
We're all gonna burn to death from the rocket engine, but you're gonna burn too if you don't get out of there right now! Dad! Listen to me! Get out! Oh shit! Uh, okay, I guess we'll roll with it. Uh, how do you like that, you sons of bitches? Death by nuclear fire! Test firing completed. Oh Test shit, that did not feel as good as I thought it would. Point seven Holy percent. shit, Dads, are you okay? I was screaming at you to get out! Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Well, you're the first person I've met who finds it perfectly acceptable to stand directly underneath a rocket engine while it's firing. Of course, at the same time, you're the only person that I've seen stand under a rocket engine while it's firing. I know you don't take orders from me, but when you get back to the police station, I'd recommend that you check yourself for second degree burns. Maybe some ointment? They have ointment for that, you know? Don't get me wrong, it's very impressive that you managed to not die, and it's also impressive that all of these fusion cells managed to not pop under the extreme heat. But overall, this is the dumbest thing I've done to... Crap, elevators. Down here! Okay. Ten-point landing. Click. Going down. Hope the weight limit is able to carry two full-grown men and some power armor and a dog. Elevators here. Dance, coming. You, you okay? I think being under a rocket engine burned a couple of your brain cells. I'll tell you what, I'll I'll scout ahead. You just. Collect yourself. Get some ice on those burns. That man is not okay. <laughs> no kidding. Ding ding. Elevator. Third floor. Evil robots. Hello? Teleporting dog. Atomic rocket engines. Various things I never thought I'd deal with in my life. Yeah. Par for the course. Uh, okay. Teleporting men in power armor. Look, dance. I'm not sure you should be in combat right now. And you're going in the cup. Okay. Let's see if this thing works! Hey, what do you know? It works pretty okay! Die, you evil robots! Okay, you know what? This is not working out as good as I hoped it would. Yeah, that's good. Hold him, dog meat! Ugh. Yeah, this is gonna work. You bastard! It's gonna leave a bruise. I think he cracked a rib. Let's steer away from the physical violence and go back to the searing, deadly pain of lasers. Everyone loves lasers. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay. Thank you. I hope that's the last of them. Damn it. I don't see the device anywhere. Fan out and check the synth remains. They may have been after the transmitter as well. Fan out? There's two of us. How are we supposed to fan out when there's two of us? Actually, hang on, I think I found it. Huh. Let's Is this it? We'll take the service elevator to the surface. Okay. Let me just sift through this place a little bit and see if I can, you know, find anything else I can use to MacGyver something together. Toaster, some chewing gum. I can make it work. Like a fan! Yeah, there we go. I can make a bomb that shoots fan blades and tiny gears in this clock. Nora called me crazy when I drew up plans for the breakfast machine, but it would have worked. Breakfast machine? Yeah, you know, like the one from Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You watch too many movies. Or, just hear me out, maybe you don't watch enough. Seriously, didn't they program you with any sort of American culture or anti-Chinese propaganda? Like, something. For the love of God, please tell me they did not just stuff you in a box. They just stuffed me in a box. Curse their uncultured ways. But now I got this thing. It's like a rifle revolver. In fact, I'm gonna call it a rifle revolver. Adding to my wonderful list of innovative weapons, including but not limited to a gun that shoots literal garbage. 
You gonna fit in here with that? Ah, uh, okay, yes. But will the elevator move while holding that tremendous weight? Yes, apparently it will. Ah! I think I'm seeing shit. For a second there, it looked like you teleported. But then again, teleporters are real. So I guess that's not out of the question, is it? The dog, on the other hand, I'm having a bit of a harder time believing. Ding! Elevator, top floor, nuclear apocalypse, torture devices, murder, nuclear bombs going off, terror in the streets, and many drugs. Speaking of which, <laughs> what's up with the sky? My god, the pollution finally took over, didn't it? I knew this would happen. At the end of the day, removing those environmental regulations was a bad idea. Who would have guessed? Thank you, Mr. President. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Yeah, I kind of shot you with a rocket engine, which was neat, but I thought we did fine. We're both alive and the transmitter's been secure. There's no need to scrutinize the details. Well, I suppose that's it then. I'll be going now. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. Oh, yeah, sure. I think sure. you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. Okay, very nice. I think I remember using one exactly like this, actually. So you're not, like, gonna get in trouble if you give this to me, huh? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster, but you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You could spend the rest of your life wandering from place to place, Trading an extra hand for a meager reward. Or, you could join the Brotherhood of Steel and make your mark on the world. So, what do you say? Well, uh, I'd say this is kind of sudden. Uh, there might actually be some legal issues here that I'm not sure about. What exactly would be expected of me? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Opera still stands. Can we count on you? Well, it would be nice to have the help. Yeah, sure. Be an honor. That's what I wanted to hear. Meet me back at the police station, and we'll discuss the details. All right, sweet. See you then. I have other business to attend to right now, though. I think we kind of got distracted. Went gallivanting and fighting robots in an old rocket test lab. Though, on the upside, we now know that power armor can hold up to a rocket engine. So in the incredibly likely event that I'll have to stand under a rocket engine, we can just hope to God I'm wearing power armor. Though I guess at the same time, we could just not make the habit of standing under space shuttles. Good news is, I don't think there are many more Delta IV rockets around. And in the incredibly unlikely event that Hermes 13 is still around, I don't think it's running anymore. Either way, we'll cross that bridge if and when we come to it. Oh, well, good news is, looks like the sky cleared up. Joyous of evenings. World's gone to hell in a handbasket, but hey, we got clear skies. There are a lot of stars up there, aren't there? Feeling small? The thought crossed my mind, but actually I was thinking of the lack of light pollution out here. It's kind of nice. I tell you, I spent some time in Chicago. You would look up in the night sky, you couldn't see one of them. So we have that at least. Wake up, the job at the bell. No sweat, now feeling swell. A G golly, it's a beautiful day. You're gonna burn my troubles away. I'm going to live. Light up the town. The walls that hold me. I'm melting down. Right. 
this stuff's delicious. What?